The role of the facehugger in the alien life cycle would seem to be fairly straightforward. Though sentient, cunning, and certainly threatening in and of itself, its sole purpose is to find a host, incubate the xenomorph embryo, and die, thus passing over life to the true intended parasite. Though with many variations of the xenomorph comes variations of the facehugger. The trilobite, as seen in Prometheus, has served as a vessel for the alien embryo, capable of impregnating engineer life forms with xenomorphs, such as the deacon. The royal or super facehugger, as seen in Alien 3, has the specific purpose of carrying a queen, as well as an additional embryo to protect her majesty. And another interesting version of the facehugger, known simply as the giant facehugger, found its way into the Kenner Aliens toy line and the accompanying Dark Horse comics. This version of the facehugger appeared in two issues, Swarm and Terror Dome. These huggers are significantly larger than the standard and exhibit strength proportioned to their size, and unlike the standard, they have their own set of jaws, making it appear as a middle ground between hugger and drone. In the comics, an infestation of the giant huggers had taken over the Terraform 3 lunar installation and captured its colonists, bringing them to the hive awaiting to become hosts. The giant huggers incapacitated their hosts and literally hugged around their entire bodies, keeping them in place. That is, of course, until the Space Marines found the Hive and destroyed the parasites, as was often the formula in this series. The purpose of the giant hugger and its full abilities has been a topic of discussion, however. Their functions are just about identical to the drone xenomorphs, in that they capture hosts and bring them to the Hive. This could possibly be an as-needed evolutionary step for a facehugger in the event that no drones are present and more brute force is required to bring in the proper incubators. Just as a drone can molt into a Praetorian and, if needed, a queen, then surely an already hatched facehugger could evolve into a larger, more aggressive version of itself. But is this evolution at the cost of its ability to impregnate a host? Many believe that yes, this is the case. The giant huggers simply bring hosts to the hive and allow the smaller, standard xenomorphs to play their role. Considering what the trilobite was capable of, however, I wouldn't be too sure of that. But being such a rare, evolved carrier, the giant huggers may reserve their abilities for other uses. For example, we learn at the end of Terror Dome that the colony has been infested with rhinoceros versions of the xenomorph. With all the variants of xenomorphs we've seen, there may be appropriate huggers that are capable of implantation, especially with larger hosts. Not just with the Kenner variants, but consider the immense aquatic xenomorphs seen in the comic series of Aliens Colonial Marines. Surely a normal hugger couldn't have played a part in those creatures. So the giant hugger could be a rare and missing role in the xenomorph variants we've seen in the extended universe. Do you have a favorite Xenomorph variant? Is it something from the Kenner line, like the Gorilla Alien or the Snake Alien? Is it something from the video games, like the Berserker? What has captured your interest most? And is there any I haven't covered yet that you'd most like me to talk about? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and you can also subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. A very, very special thanks goes out to Wayland yutani executive, M. Yorick, part of the Patreon Hive. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow at Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and at Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.